Hello everyone. Today we continue talking about the column engraving in ArtCam. First, we create a new project, and in the assembly, right-click and import. We import this 3D model and wait for a moment. Okay. Here we got the imported model, and uh, we can preview it in the 3D view. And first, we view in this direction, and we found that um, we need to lay it down for our uh, rotary engraving. So I, um, at first, I want to make it at the side to the size I want. So I press scale button. And uh, I need to change here, and I want to change the uh, uh, total length. Now it shows the um, along the Z to be 800 millimeter. So I make it about 60 percent for all of them three axes, and I press apply. Okay. And then I um, make it. Uh, I choose Y here and uh, press this button, and you can see it's uh, change the direction by um, rotate along the Y axis. And then I need to um, think I want to make this upside down, so I change here. Okay. Now seems good. You can see here the origin. The origin here. And now we need to change the origin position here. I preview on the top view. And I need to move the whole uh, sculpture and uh, Okay, I can have it a bit out of this. Okay, and then I want to move it to the almost center of this Okay, I think almost up, and uh, I change the view to see in this direction, and then I change in this direction. Okay, almost there. Now we can see the origin position is at this point. And then I can right click and create rotary relief uh, here just to press no.
Okay, here is the effect we finally got. You can see as Outcam can only do three axis um, machining. You can see there are lots of details cannot be correctly made, and uh, so we have to um, got only a similar effect in Outcam. I think we should use Power Mail or an X software to do it with four axes or even five axes machining. That will have a more better effect. And for now, I um, do a smooth relief here. And I made the passes of three, apply. And apply. Okay. Seems a little better. And then I can make two paths. Z level roughing. And uh, choose a uh, end mill 6 millimeter. And change the step down to almost 5. And the material. I can change it like this and uh, press OK. So this is the material here is almost the radius distance of your column shape. And then here we can see the slices thickness of each slices and the total slices number. Okay, press now. And then do the machine relief. I choose a flat V. I choose a flat V of this size. The diameter is this and the Angle total angle is thirty degrees, and the uh, flat radius and the top is 0.5 millimeter. And I set the step down to this, and the step over to forty percent. And others we can ignore them. And okay, select this, and uh, as we have slices, we needed to do. Uh, um, Multi Z passes. So just uh, generate it now and uh, wait for seconds. Okay, and now I think we can do the simulation. Okay, here is the uh, simulation of the Z roughing. And then we simulate the machine. Okay. And you can see the rotary is along Y axis and uh, in almost machine. Uh, you need to put the rotary axis along Y and it will take 
it will take place of your x-axis okay and we can preview the um, shape here and then we can um, save the two paths um, this is the two paths made by my technicians and uh, especially for the machines I'm selling and uh, if you don't use a machine of mine you can choose any of the um, two paths um, post processor with um, with rotary function I think here is the here model master 3x is rotary x to a this is ok you can use this and then save the two paths ok you can see um, even with a 3x synth router and with artcam we can do some um, complex rotary shape uh, column or pillar um, but if you want the every details very clear as the um, as the origin model you made you'd better use a 4 axis or even 5 axis machine um, that would be more expensive in price but that will make your work more perfect. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.